Hello viewers, today in this video I'll explain about Snellen's chart. A Snellen's chart is an eye chart that can be used to measure visual acuity. Snellen's chart are named after Dutch ophthalmologist Herman Snellen who developed the chart in 1862. Snellen developed a chart using symbol based in a 5 into 5 unit grid. The experimental chart developed in 1861 used abstract symbols. Snellen's chart published in 1862 used alphanumeric capitals in a 5 times 5 grid. The original chart shows these alphanumeric capitals. Features of Snellen's chart The normal Snellen's chart is printed with 11 lines of block letters. The first line consists of one very large letter which may be one of the several letters for example E, H and N. Subsequent rows have an increasing number of letters that decreases in size. The symbols on an acuity chart are formally known as optotypes. They have a particular simple geometry in which the thickness of the line equals the thickness of white space between lines. In this figure, this is the thickness of the line of the letters which is equal to the thickness of the space between the lines. The height and the width of an optotype is 5 times thicker than a constituent line. In this figure, this is the constituent line 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And this is the height of the letter, which is 5 times thicker than the constituent line. Only 9 optotypes that are C, D, E, F, L, O, P, D and Z are used in the common Snellen's chart. Chart is placed in 6 meter or 20 feet away and the smallest row that can be read accurately indicates the visual acuity in that specific eye. Now let's look into principle of Snellen's chart. Two distant point objects are visible separately only when they subtend an angle at least one minute of arc at the nodal point of the eye. Each individual letter of Snellen's chart subtends an angle of 5 minutes and each component of letter subtends an angle of 1 minute at the nodal point of eye from the distance in 1 meter. This angle shows each component of letter subtending at angle of 1 minute arc. This angle shows letters of chart subtending an angle of 5 minute of arc. Availability of Snellen's chart First, an electric chart. To ensure adequate illumination of the Snellen's chart, various medical device manufacturers had developed this chart with backlight or projection. Second, digital chart. Since computer monitors typically have good lighting for reading, and LCD or LED monitors have high DPI or dots per inch between 96 and 480, they are suitable for displaying optotypes. Commonly, digital chart products supporting randomizing optotypes displayed to prevent patients from memorizing the chart. What are the applications of Snellen's chart? First, vision examination. During refraction, we use Snellen's chart to determine the best eyeglass prescription. Second, visual acuity measurement. To provide a baseline recording of visual acuity. Third, examination and diagnosis of disease like refractive error, screening program, and routine eye examination. Fourth, for medical legal reasons like driving license and job in defense. Now let's look into procedure to determine visual acuity using Snellen's chart. Prerequisites First, luminance. Luminance should be uniform, not less than 120 candela 
per meter square. Second, room length, generally 6 meters or 3 meters with mirror. Third, height, mirror and chart should be at same height just above the patient. Fourth, accommodation, accommodation should be minimum or absent. Patient preparation. Explain the procedure to the patient. Test each eye separately and abnormal eye first. Comfortably sit at a distance of 6 meters from the chart and request the patient not to squeeze their eyes. Measuring visual acuity. Ask the patient to wear the trial frame and occlude left eye with occluder. Now ask the patient to start reading from the top of the chart. The smallest line he or she can read will be expressed as fraction. For example, 6 by 18. This 6 represents the distance of the chart from the patient, that is 6 meter, and this 18 represents the distance at which a normal person should be able to see that line. So 6 by 18 vision means Patient can see this line from 6 meter distance where a normal person can see from 18 meter distance. If the patient cannot read any letters at 6 meter, move him or her closer 1 meter at a time until the top letter can be seen. The visual acuity will then be recorded as 5 by 60, 4 by 60, 3 by 60, etc. Repeat the whole procedure for the left eye. This is an end of Snallen's chart video and for more information and videos please subscribe Smart Optometry.